Hello guys, this is your friend the great lobbyist and I'm back again with another video. We've been talking about a lot of new entrants into the market when it comes to new Android phones and today I have with me here is a real Mi 6 Pro. This by far can be called the elder brother of real Mi 6 which we reviewed and which was launched a few weeks back. This is the newest version, the latest one which has come out recently into the market and real Mi has been trying to step up the game by bringing about some really awesome stuff when it comes to the mid-range smartphones from the box of it it's got the typical brand yellow color from realme simplistic branding of the product on each side and some technical specs at the back which we're going to talk about in detail after we see what's in there and by the time i rip this box open to find out the ingredients of this box i would like to request you to please press that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can continue to get these awesome videos from me i'm gonna get straight on to it and see what's in there Guys, here we have the real Mi 6 Pro. Try to turn this thing on, but by the time I do that, let me talk you through a few things which this bad boy packs. Let's start with the body of it. It's slightly thicker than what you would expect the latest version of the mid-range smartphones come at, but all in all, it looks beautiful. It's got Gorilla Glass 5 in the front, a glass back with a nice wavy color finish, which is beautiful. It is, they both engulf this plastic body, which doesn't look very plasticky when you use it. It's a little heavy on the hand as well, but all in all, the finish of the product is awesome. It's 163.8 by 75.8 by 8.9 mm in terms of dimensions. And as I said, it weighs a little heavier. It weighs over 202 grams. But yes, it is a 6.6 .6 inch IPS LCD captive touchscreen display with 16 million colors and 84.7 screen to body ratio. Now, when it comes to the display, when you say 6.6 .6 inch, it is 1080 by 2400 pixels which is 20 to 9 ratio at a negative 399 ppi density which is not bad for the price tag this phone comes at it emits a 480 nits of brightness which is advertised and a 90 hertz fresh rate which ain't bad either i must say this is 90 hertz is starting to become a standard and in fact some of the android phones which you will see me reviewing in the coming days we have already packed in over 120 hertz of refresh rate so great a great work if they continue to come up with the newest models at the latest pace they will continue to capture the market share that they want Android 10 with Realme UI on top of it with Qualcomm Snapdragon SM712 process chipset with a 720G 8 nm processor. It's an octa-core processor, which means it's got 2.3 gigahertz Cairo 465 golds and 6 1.8 gigahertz Cairo 465 silvers in it and a GPU of Adreno 618. So pretty decent power packed inside when it comes to the processing power. Not bad at all. It comes in 6 GB with 64 GB and 6 GB 128 GB and the top variant of 8 GB with 128 GB which is the one which we are holding here again a dual sim with a memory card space separately on the around we've got the volume toggle and a sim tray on one side and we got an on off switch here which also doubles up as a fingerprint scanner on the side again not on the screen or at the back at the side which means it should make it easier for someone who uses their thumb to turn on and off the device pretty often while we talk about everything else at the bottom uh, we've got the headphone jack charging port and a stereo speaker at the bottom 
and at the back is a beautiful blue finish with quad cam it's a 64 megapixel quad camera it's an ai quad cam with f 1.8 26 mm wide lens as the primary with 64 megapixels and then you got a secondary camera which is 12 megapixels f 2.5 54 mm telephoto and then we have the 8 megapixel ultra wide to f 2.3 13 mm camera and a 2 megapixel f 2.4 22 mm macro lens at the back as well and also has an led flash right and when it comes to feature it does pack hdr 10 and panorama modes as the standard features it can do some great videos as they claim it's 4k at 30 frames per second 1080p at 30 or 60 or 120 frames per second can be done on this phone when it comes to the video front facing selfie camera you will see a dual camera pinhole setup here which is a 60 megapixel wide angle f 2.1 26 mm camera as a primary selfie camera and then you got an 8 megapixel f 2.2 ultra wide camera as well which can do HDR videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second great little phone I must say all in all a good feeling but um, one thing we are really interested in knowing is what's coming out next this from when it comes to the battery it's 4300 mega ampere battery which comes with a 30 watt walked 4.0 charger which means it can charge from 0 to 100 percent in little less than an hour now that has been a USB for Realme along with the great camera setup they always come in their phones it's a great looking phone it feels good to hold a little bulkier the camera setup looks nice we'll share i'll take some pictures with this phone and put them on to the towards the end of the video for you to make a call on how does it feel all in all the 90 hertz refresh rate can be felt very easily when you scroll through the phone and see the quality of the display is absolutely one of the usbs and it looks amazing well this is the realme 6 pro and it is a beautiful looking phone all in all has some downsides to it but yes you can get this i mean it's a phone which is available at the retail stores primarily at amazon online and you have a great choice of colors along with the, the variants of uh, the memory it comes in lightning blue which is the one we're holding uh, i think the word lightning comes from the special effect on the back that you see it looks like a zigzag lightning it also comes in lightning orange and lightning red so choose one uh, which you feel is best for your style and it starts the base variant starts at about 270 dollars and can go up to $250 again a mid-range a lower mid-range uh, options available in realme 6 pro but it's gonna get some real tough competition uh, from the other the phone brands uh, which are in the similar space specifically who up their came with the screen size and who've up there came with the processor as well but yes it is a great looking phone as i said multiple times i'm gonna sign off now with this and I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to press that subscribe button and the bell icon and in the meantime keep yourself happy keep yourself safe peace